one of the things that I think is really cool about this process is that we just started with a quote. And we, I believe we chose it like the very first time we signed up for the workshop. And then that just became this entire play that we wrote and just in 24 hours, which is also incredible. Like I'm amazed at us. I'm amazed at mm -hmm. me. Like how did I write a play in 24 hours? <laughs> I just think that's so cool. And so basically the process started with an outline. So we got all these little virtual sticky notes and wrote down some plot ideas. And then once we had that, we had the basic idea of what our plot was going to be. And then after that, we just went to the document and just, I think we just, just started writing just like that. Mm -hmm. And um, it wasn't really clear exactly what was going to happen, but it sort of figured itself out, I feel like, as we went along. So, oh, shoot, don't forget to introduce yourself. Oh, yeah. And um, I'm Lyndon Koshland. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Tina Schuster. I'm in San Diego. Hi, I'm Karina. I'm in Mexico, in Nuevo Leon. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm in San Francisco, California. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, and that's how we like to do it. We just jump right in, and that's what we did with our work. <laughs> Yes. Introductions later. <laughs> I um, think the teamwork was amazing. As Lyndon mentioned, as soon as we started the conversation, we started to create the, the play. I didn't know how to apply a real life situation into a play in 24 hours as well as my partners, but the, the result came out great. Yeah. Um, and then what was also really cool, I think, and what, what made us feel this, um, urgency around, I don't know if urgency is the right word, but it made us want to make it good, was that we knew we had a real audience, which was the other people in the group. We also knew that it was going to be live streamed later, open to anybody who had the link, but then also that it was going to be performed by professional actors. And so they, we, uh, we had a coach, so Jamie was our coach, and he would, during the writing process, he kind of, he would jump into our room. Um, he gave us some really good feedback. Like, I feel like we were stuck in a couple of different places. He came in, he processed it quickly, and then he helped us just kind of figure out which direction to go. And And I feel like working with this team, I was a little hesitant at first, because for me, writing is such an individual process, or at least that's been my experience. But then we, I, I don't know if I feel like it was like everyone was listening to each other when we had when we had feedback, and then we could easily just take it and apply it, we didn't really have time to overthink anything, which can often happen in writing, right? Yeah, um, that, that thing that, that benefit us because if we thought it through, the overthinking will like be in the opposite way what we went through. Yeah. And so like for us, we met for the first time when we logged in and, um, and what we did at first as a group was um, as, a, as a whole group of however many participants there were, I think there was something like 45 or 50 or something like that, um, 48. And so what we did as a group was we, we did some warm up activities, we got some information, um, and then we went in to meet our groups after our first activity, I think. Yeah. Um, and the thing I was the most excited about is that we were told there was going to be a student on each team. So we were going to be teams of three and that we would have a student. And I shared this with Mark and um, with with my team as well. I don't know if we would have been as efficient. And I don't think that the, the play would have been as high quality if we didn't have Lyndon. She added authenticity to the student voice, but also just like it felt like we were teachers and students working together. There was none of this, you know, it wasn't like, okay, now I'm going to make all the decisions and then Lyndon will just do whatever that was. It was just a really, it felt really good. Yeah. As a teacher it's difficult to play the position of the student being you as a teacher in the real life. I mm -hmm. think that part and Lyndon really helped us with that. Yeah. And then Lyndon, when we were talking about, I know we were talking about, um, character development of teachers. And we were trying to come up with the character, Mr. Adams and, and Karina and I were both just like, okay, this is, I've seen this character and like we were developing that character. And then 
but I feel like you just jumped right in and channeled the voice of telling these stories of, of different students. Like how, I mean, how was that process for you? Yeah, I mean, it was really interesting and really cool to um, kind of get to connect in that way and also connect to the characters and connect to the audience that um, we're going to be performing or the play that we're writing is going to be performed to. And also how um, at this particular time, especially it's important to tell these stories. And even if we can't see each other in person or perform these things in person at all, it's still important to um, be writing about this and um, connecting with people and just showing how they're not alone and also how they can do things to help, like storytelling as an example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe more people that watch the play will be benefit with this. Yeah. I also thought it was really neat how in our play we found a way, because originally I thought, okay, online plays, that's going to be a huge barrier for us as writers because we can't utilize like as many props and actors can't like directly interact with each other, but we figured out how to use it as a tool by having students in the play turn off their screens as sort of a protest in an act of solidarity as this one student. And I just thought that was really neat how we're already adapting to using this new type of performance. Mm -hmm. That yeah. shows us as well that we are like adapting to the remotely work that we're doing right now. Right. Yeah, I, I feel like when I was watching everybody else's play because every, so there was different topics of, of plays based on these quotes. Um, and so they were all like different quotes. So they ha we had like, you know, a starting point, but then we expanded. And I feel like so many of the issues that we're all dealing with that we feel like we're dealing with individually. Once we saw all of the plays, I mean, people were writers were from like multiple different countries and different states within the US. And it felt like that we're all experiencing the same thing no matter where you live. And these like issues of equity and social justice and they're coming up no matter no matter where you are. Um, and so it was like a cool way to connect but also to highlight what other people are feeling in this time. It's powerful. And also I think the, the storytelling can help us to communicate that part that you are mentioning. Like no no matter the place that you are living right now, we're living the struggling problems right now. And I think the storytelling really helped us to get through that communication to write a play. Yeah. It was really cool. I'm like sad I'm sad it's over. But <laughs> <Me too. laughs> not the last time. Um and like I'm really excited about tonight um, about seeing the the plays. I know that the professional actors, even in their original read through, they were just supposed to just read the words, but like not really put a lot of emotion to it just so we could hear our words out loud. Um, and, but you, you know, you tell an actor, just do a read through and they are going to bring life to those words. And so even just seeing it with like short rehearsals I think it brought power to all of these plays and I, I can't wait to see what they do now that, you know, they've actually had more time to, to think it through and maybe be off book. So that's really cool. It's very exciting. I just want to finish with the storytelling thing that I take from this course that I'm going to translate with my students. Whenever it comes the time to work either online or at the school, storytelling is, one, is going to be one of my favorite creative tools that I'm taking from here. I think I will probably do something around, um, I mean, for me, like there are so many takeaways, but I just forget the power of connection. Like, and that it, even though it's different, not being in the same physical space, like I left that going like, wow, I now have a friend in the Bay Area and I have a new friend in Mexico and it it was just really cool. You know, we started our WhatsApp group and I was like, wow, you can really make these connections like in a short amount of time. I definitely agree that it's really, really cool to see these connections being made and also connections with the audience that you're um, storytelling to and how if you put your mind to it, you can do basically anything in 24 hours, even write a play. We did it. <laughs> we did it. 
<laughs> enjoy everyone. Yes, enjoy the show. <laughs>